Hello everybody. Today we're going to look into what's new in Sweet CRM 8.5. My name is Bastian Helmer, your go-to expert when it comes to all things CRM and integration with CRM. Okay, so let's go. So if you found the download area and then you can see the release notes as well, click on those. And usually in the release notes, you can get a list of everything that has been happening here or which has been deployed or released with this deployment, with this package of the new Sweet CRM version. And here it's a bit different from, from or like often they have like a kind of list with bug fixes and patches and everything. But here now it seems like in the focus, there's really like an upgrade or like a neat new feature. There is some breaking changes if you do front-end development. So if you've developed a, an extension, so you will see this one here, this is relevant for you. Then there are some enhancements on the speed. So here it's basically like around 20% faster now, but it's not like the whole system is 20% faster, but just the GraphQL calls in the background which is being reduced from 400 to 300 milliseconds, which is kind of significant, but it's not everything that you need to load your whole CM system. But the really cool stuff happens here. So you can see that there is a new feature, quick filters. So filtering in the CM system in your day-to-day -day business is very, very important. It helps you to be faster, focus on those things that you really want to see. Check out my videos on SweetCM and the filters. And now, additionally, and on top of it, we're going to test this one here now. So I do have a fresh CRM 8.5 installed here. I've used demo data during the installation process in order to be able to work with this one here. And now we're going to give it a try. So filters, let's first do the filters as we have seen it before. So if you want to, to um, filter for everybody or for every company which is located in the city persistence and you want to use it, oh no, let's first try this one here. So you just want to filter and search for it. You can see it works totally fine as I expected. I can even go ahead and save this one here and then I can access this, one here, access this one here in my filter. So I can build up a couple of different filters which are relevant for me, where I can work with on day-to-day -day basis. But now, the new thing is I can add something else. So for instance, here, if I have something like the city Alabama, which I want to access very frequently, I can check this checkbox here and Let's just try it, save it. And as you can see, I've got a new button now and the new button is Alabama. So now I want to check whether or how this works. If I click the button again, it will simply deselect my filter again. I can see all the data again. And now I want to add another city, but I'm often working with Alabama and Kansas City. So I want to add these both into quick filters. So therefore I'm going back into my quick filters. I'm filtering for exactly that what I want to see. I'm giving the whole thing a name. I'm adding it to my quick filters and I save it. And as you can see, now I've got two buttons here. And now the charm is I can quickly flip or change between those different filters here and really work well with the data. I can just, just reduce my clicks. So the, the most important, I don't know, five to, to eight filters would all nicely fit here. And then those filters, which I'm using occasionally, I can add to my filter. So it's a very neat feature to help you work in a more streamlined way. If you did something wrong here, you can still go to filters click on the filter and you want to delete it, then you would simply reload it. You see now it's being reloaded and now we can click on delete. And do you really want to delete your filter? Yes, it's deleted as well. So Alabama is the, the one which remains and the other filter is now gone because I just deleted it. So that's quite neat. 
let's check what else is new. So here we've got some mobile adjustment. So with the filters, it's, um, ah, the insights are being disabled. So here we've got the insights. We can easily disable, enable them here. But if we change to the mobile view, let's test this. Now it's disabled and I can enable it if I want to, because usually if you're mobile, you want to mostly work with the data, not with the reports of everything. So therefore that makes totally sense to be able to disable this if you don't want to see this. So, and then it will show instead of the list view. Okay, that's good. And as you can see, so therefore, usually here there's a huge list of um, security patches, of, uh, of contributions from the community and of, of patches and bug fixes and stuff, but not this time. So let's wait maybe with a minor release, 8.5.1 or whatever, we see some of those. So far, that's a great feature that I'm definitely going to use it in some projects. Test it as well, upgrade to the newest version, set up your filters as you have seen it here. And I'm curious what you think about your, um, uh, how much it benefits your business process if you can switchly, uh, quickly switch back and forth between the quick filters. Okay, that's all for this upgrade. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.